asking. We're asked to find the speed of the Earth in its orbit around the Sun in units of meters per second. Now let's prepare to solve this problem. And the basic data that we're given in this problem is this. The Earth goes in a circular orbit of radius 93 million miles. So here's the Sun, here's the Earth, and it's going in orbit around the Sun, and the radius of the orbit is 93 million miles. By the way, that is a really, really big distance. That takes light eight minutes to go from here to here. So this is a very, very big distance. The amount of time it takes the Earth to complete this orbit and the length of the orbit, the distance that the Earth travels, is 2 pi r. The amount of time it takes to complete that orbit is, of course, one year. That's the definition of a year. So the speed is this many miles per year. But we don't want it in miles per year. We want it in meters per second. And so we've got to do some sort of a unit conversion. And the unit conversions we'll make is this. One mile is equal to 1.61 times 10 to the third meters. That'll be useful. And one year, now we could convert years to days, days to hours, hours to seconds, but let's just cut to the chase and figure out what one year is. One year is 3.16 times 10 to the seventh seconds. So with these conversions in hand, and with this basic data in hand, we are ready to calculate the speed of the Earth around the Sun in units of meters per second. And since it's a big, big, big distance, we're expecting this to be a pretty high speed. Let's find out. Here's our solution. Now for the solution, here's what we'll do. We'll start with the speed, which is just 2 pi r divided by the time interval. Well, the distance is 2 pi times 93 million miles, okay? That's our distance. The time interval is just one year. Then the rest is just conversion factors. Now, we want to convert from miles to meters, and so we're going to multiply by a factor of 1, and in the denominator is 1 mile. In the numerator is something which is equal to 1 mile, that's 1.61 times 10 to the third meters. So this is basically a factor of 1. It doesn't change the answer, it just changes the units. We're also going to multiply by a factor of 1 which gets rid of years and gives us seconds. So I'm going to put one year in the numerator. In the denominator, I'll put the number of seconds that's equal to one year. That's 3.16 times 10 to the seventh seconds. So it's this many miles per year. Convert meters, miles to meters. Convert years to seconds. And if we multiply this out, we get a speed of 3.0 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. Now that's a big speed. Let's think about this. This is 30,000 meters per second. That's equal to 30 kilometers per second. Okay, that's a high speed indeed. But as we assess this problem, think back to what we said at the very start. And we said the Earth is traveling a huge distance during the course of a year. I mean, it takes it a year to do it, but the distance, 93 million miles, that is a pretty good distance. We expected the speed to be quite large. In fact, that's what we found. And so our assessment is this. Our answer matches our understanding of how the world works.